Hi there, this is your Daily Now. The topic of today is, is Penn State. So as you've probably heard, there's a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of, uh, I guess, student up, uproar and all that over Kent State. Joe Paterno and I guess his assistant coach, Jerry, Jerry McQuarrie, they're uh, worried about the finances of the school, of Penn State, what's going to happen to it now, and and uh, you know how they're going to make it because the football program basically supports the school. So, you know, here is my view as far as uh, the uh, Kent State, or excuse me, the Penn State legacy, and Joe Patero, and all the other coaches and janitors and whoever else surrounded the circles to protect um, the uh, reputation of uh, Penn State and instead of doing the right thing they uh, like I said they circle the wagons so here's my opinion I don't care about Penn State what I do care about is those children that were raped those uh, all those people that that protected a sexual predator and let's call him what he is no one wants to say it he's a rapist he's a sexual predator he uh, preys on young young children. Um, you know, this is not a, a case of one person overlooking doing the right thing. This is a person of a lot of people doing the wrong thing. So the question is, what are they protecting? Why didn't they go? I mean, it's against the law. Clearly, it's against the law not to report child rape. So what is it that they were protecting? Why didn't they... Uh, contact uh, Child Protective Services, uh, why didn't they uh, alert the proper authorities? Everybody says that they reported it to their superiors. I wonder what kind of report that was. Was that a verbal report? Is there any documentation? i tell you what I think it was. It was a matter of money. The football program brings in millions of dollars to support the school. And everybody's protecting their job and protecting their money in instead of protecting the children. That's what I think it was. I mean, this is my opinion. Um, I think the students that are out there riding, turning over the news van, are misguided. They're they're not even thinking. They're supposed to be educated students here at there at Penn State. They're supposed to be uh, thinking. They're supposed to learn how to think, but they're not thinking. They're thinking about the legacy of Joe Patero, right? I don't care how great of a legend he was. I don't care what he did for the school. When it came to protecting children, he helped cover it up. Uh, he said he wished he could have done more. He could have done more. He could have stopped it. This uh, Sandusky or Standusky, whatever his name was, the guy's a child predator. He needed to be stopped a long time ago. This has been going on for years, but you had this code of silence going on at, uh, at Penn State. Protecting a child predator, right? This guy has his Second Chance Foundation, which is supposed to help young boys. When uh, this guy is just helping himself to to these young boys, that's only help. That's only second chance he's given. He's given himself a, a chance to have access to these young boys. And personally, I don't give a damn about Penn State. I don't. I don't care about their legacy. They ought to be concerned about these victims. Is what they ought to be concerned about. They're out there protesting, talking about Joe Paterno wasn't given a chance. Ah, he, he was given a chance, but he failed to do the right thing. He, he failed to report what was going on. He failed to stop it. Joe, uh, I think Jerry McQuarrie actually caught him in the act. And what does he do? He goes and reports it to his superior. That's sick.